<sighs> All right, let's talk about Jason Kylar. Talks about the uh, streaming backlash and uh, losing his job. Losing his job. That's right. So this article, like I said, right before, like literally a half an hour before I was like, when I was trying to th- think about what the main topic was going to be for tonight's stream, I went, okay, well, that's probably good. So if you guys saw this right here, first I saw the Variety article right here, but there's a couple of articles. There's one from THR2 talking about um, Jason Kylar. So let me go ahead and do that. Go to that. All right. Transitioning right there. Whew. All right, there's a Janet doc coming. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, anyways, Warner Media CEO Jason Kyler is disappointed. He will probably lose his job. Probably lose his job right here. So, Jason Kyler, currently CEO of Warner Media, admitted that he feels disappointed that he will likely be out of the job within a year. AT&T is in the midst of spinning off Warner Media to combine with Discovery, a deal expected to close in mid-2022, pending regulatory approvals. Kyler has told staffers that he expects to stay at Warner Media at least through 2022. Kyler, speaking at Vox Media's Code Conference, said that the uh, said that the Warner Media CEO job goes away once the Discovery transaction closes. Asked if he was disappointed, he won't have the chance to continue leading the media conglomerate. Kyler responded, I'm human, so in that context, yes. He declined to discuss what his next venture might be. Kyler, the one, uh, yeah, of course, talks about the Hulu stuff. He said, I would prefer this adventure to go on for 10 or 20 more years. He acknowledged that, but that's not the way corporate America works. Until the transaction closes, Kyler said he'll continue to work to set up Warner Media for the next hundred years. So there you go. And then he was interviewed by Code Conference by MSN, MB, MSNBC anchor Stephanie Rule, who questioned him about the backlash, the backlash about that all. So I want to actually go to I'm going to go to uh, THR's article right here, which I thought it was a little bit when, when he talks about it, when, when the quote right here. OK, so first off, well, let's see. He kind of said. Um, Kyler, yeah, let's see, uh, Warner's, blah, 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 blah. he said, we endeavored to do the right thing in terms of communication, and in hindsight, we should have taken a good month to have 170 conversations with talent and everything. This is what we kind of talked about. It's like, yeah, maybe there was a miscommunication when this decision was made because a lot of people, I guess, felt like they were in the dark, you know, and then that kind of soured some people, let's just say, and then, of course, they had to, like, pay them off, be like, here, Here's your money, Patty, gal. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. We didn't mean to do that, you know. Um, uh, that, that said, even with the uh, compressed timeline, uh, Kylor noted that the day and date movie moved, uh, movie moved primed um, HBO Max for subscriber growth into the service's second year. So he's looking at it as like, hey, it did kind of help. It did really kind of help. There will be a short number of services you care about on a daily basis. That's the way he's looking. He was looking long term. Warner Media will spend north of 18 billion on content across all areas of the business in both 2021 and 2022. Kylar said responding to word that Netflix expects to spend 18 billion on content next year. In addition to Warner Media, Kylar cited Netflix and Disney as well as position to succeed in the direct to consumer streaming business. Meanwhile, for Amazon, Entertainment is not a hobby and will be in the game for the long haul, he said. So we got that. And then there was a quote right here. He said, yeah, well, when he says Kylar's perspective, Warner's reaction to the fallout was successful, even as Warner Brothers has committed to a 45 day exclusive theatrical release window for 2022. We said from the start that we are going to treat every single film as a blockbuster from an economic perspective for participants that we we're going to be fair and generous. We were going to do the right thing. The good news is we did, and we worked our trail ends off to that, and we're now in a very good situation. So positivity. Positivity coming from the man. Definitely positivity coming from the man. So. Okay. Having too much fun with that drop. I'm not saying that it's all lies, but, you know, I'm just uh, 
Uh, but I'm just, you know, he says they're in a good spot. There's, they're, uh, they're in a good spot when it comes to that. You know, and I, and I want to believe it. I want to believe it. But I think, I mean, I think, like, he had a good idea. And I've said this. We've talked about it on the Vodka stream. He had, we were all about it. We we're like, all right, this makes sense because the pandemic and whatnot. And, but I think, yeah, he just didn't have the proper com- conversations with people. Like when it comes to David Zaslav, he is having conversations with everybody right now. He is this Zaslav sounds like a man who just is going, all right, I got to do all of this before this time. I got to meet with all these people before this time. He's going to make sure that there's no balls that are dropped. That's for sure. And I think Kylar was a little too, a little too rambunctious when it came to that. Didn't talk about it with a lot of people that he probably should have. And then there was a little bit of backlash that happened. But at the same time, it it did seem like it was a good idea at the time. Maybe not so much now. Now they got to find that happy median. 45 days, I think it should be 30, to be honest. Because nowadays, movies just kind of go and then they're gone. To be honest, you could do two weeks if you wanted to. But then again, that might be too much of a short window where people are like, eh. So maybe 45 days is that sweet spot where people are like, eh, I don't want to ma- wait a month and a half. So maybe that is that sweet spot of like, all right, it'll go on here then and we'll be good. We'll be good. So I don't know. Um, but then, yeah, there's a chance that he might lose his job. To me, to me, I think he, I mean, he's, gonna, he's going to because obviously it's merging and you got another CEO coming in. It would be kind of cool if maybe they kept him on to do some things. But hey, when you're getting paid like $50 million a year, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> I think it's something like that. I, I know his salary is like really ridiculous. So he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Maybe he'll go off and start some other thing, you know. He'll uh, somehow get YouTube stories to, like, be a big, huge thing or something like that. TikTok. Maybe he'll move to TikTok. I don't know. But, um, I, you know, but at the same time, I think he was, I think he had a pretty good solution. But, you know, because with everything that kept delaying, 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 it was just getting annoying for, for everyone because you want to see these movies and they keep getting delayed. So I always thought that that idea was good. I think a lot of us kind of thought that idea was good. But, you know, they just got to find that happy median now. They got to really do that. And I think Zaslav is really, like, making sure that they're going to have a good strategy. I think they're going to implement a little bit. You know, even Ben Affleck has said that, you know, when it comes to streaming, smaller movies are going to go straight to that. And I think a lot of I think some movies, a lot of movies out there have benefited from going direct to streaming, being like an Amazon exclusive or Hulu exclusive. I think they've benefited, to be honest, especially last year or the last 18 months. I think some movies have benefited. But yeah, when it comes to the bigger movies, that's where the money is at. So you got to find that happy. That's why they keep on postponing. That's why we're finally going to see No Time to Die. We're finally going to see... Well, not till next year, I guess. Ma- Top Gun Maverick, which is like, you just there was no there was no other alternative when it came to those kind of movies. Well, I guess when it came to Warner Brothers, just using that Warner Brothers library and that name, they thought, okay, let's promote this with the streaming service. Let's get these subscribers, and for the most part, probably did well, but probably not as good as they hope. And now David Zaslav is going, hey, we're gonna get 200 million subscribers worldwide in the next three to five years, whatever. That's also pretty ambitious. So we'll see what happens. But I don't think he should he should stay around somewhere, but he probably will lose his job. But let's hope that Anne and Toby also lose their job too. Yeah. Let's hope that happens. We'll see. Kylar got that drag queen side job. What the hell? That that is very interesting, Jesse. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Maybe whatever he likes to do in his own time. I'm okay with that. But anyway, so yeah, that's what Jason Kyler had to say. Um, I think he's, I, you know, he'll be fine. He'll land somewhere else if that's the case, if they don't keep him on. But, uh, you know, just tr- I like what he had to say. Like, he's still going to try to, like, so I, I, I guess you could say that some of the stuff that's been happening right now when it comes to green lighting some of these series that are happening on HBO Max, just Kyler. So, hey, Jason Kyler, you know, green light a fucking series with Deadshot Will Smith. Come on, do something like that. Do that. Um, somehow, you know, persuade Ben Affleck to do his shit. Okay, you got Joe Mangnello right over there. Do that. At least the air cut. Do all that before you leave. Just, just, just get it all out there before you leave. You know, let's let's just do all that. That's that's what it, I think. That's what a lot of people would like to see. A lot of people want. And go out with a bang. 
you know? You were you helped a little bit, mostly, with the, uh, the, the Snyder Cut, so why not? Why not? So, okay, so there's that. Jason Kyler, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. So-